uh, four, right? Let me know if, if the other examples we're gonna look at won't make a lot of sense. So, so here's the thing, what if, what if we decided to say, okay, fine, we want to subtract, uh, what's this, three from what? Five, right? The answer should be two, is it? This is three, right? Right? Five minus three. How do we go about doing this, right? We lay down the bits, right? The way we do it with decimal numbers, left to right, the way they appear, in this case, 101 minus, I've deliberately uh, prefix this 11 one with a zero so that we have the same number of bits so that it's a lot easier for us to work through, right? So you notice that the, the first part is, is okay, it's fine, it makes sense, right? One minus one is zero, this is an easy thing. But zero minus one, it turns out, like I don't know if we were told, is it it can't or something, I don't know what they told us. It can't? Well, oh, fine, we can use it can't. So zero minus one, it can't, right? But it turns out that there's an adjacent um, column that we can borrow from, right? So what we do is, we are going to borrow from this adjacent column, right? But you notice that we are, the, the thing that we're evaluating is the, is the twos column. So when we, when we borrow from the adjacent column, it means we are borrowing from the fours column. When we borrow from a fours column, when we borrow one, from a fours column, what we are saying is we are borrowing two twos. Two twos is equal to four, right? They let that sink in. So we've borrowed two twos, which is why I've deliberately, I mean, I'm sure you've probably come across tutorials where people just say, oh, this is a two. We're dealing with binary, so it shouldn't be a two, right? It's just, it's two, two what? Ones, right. Okay, uh, so we borrow from there and then you notice that things do make sense now because um, one, one uh, minus one is just one, right? This, the, this one and this one will cancel out, so we just remain with one. We're just going to say one minus one is zero, and then we have the one remaining, we drop it down, right? Um, and then, lo and behold, because we, we borrowed from here, we borrowed this one, we've effectively destroyed it, right? So it doesn't exist anymore, so we have a zero here, and then we'll have a zero. And then we have our answer, which is two, really. It is pretty straightforward here. This is two, right? One's place, two's place. 